All right, so don't get me wrong, there are plenty of great religious hip hop artists in the world. Clearly I'm not one of them, and neither was he. This was my summer of yes. I had recently ended a long-term relationship, and I was determined to get back out there, have some fun, meet some new guys. So when my really old car broke down and the tow truck driver asked me out, <laughs> of course, my answer was yes. He wasn't my usual type, but he seemed like a nice enough guy. Over the following weeks, we had typical phone conversations, likes, dislikes, families, etc. Everything seemed to be going well. So I asked, when are we actually going to go out? Uh, we agreed on a date, and he said, I'll take care of making all the plans, which is something I love to hear. So the night before our date, I call him to find out about these plans and ask where I should meet him. Um, I wasn't sure how to tell you this, but I don't actually have a car, so you'll need to come pick me up. So for a first date, I typically like to meet my date at the location, so I debated this. But given my current str car struggles, I understood what it was like to be without a car, and I agreed to pick him up. He gave me his address in Gaithersburg, and I had recently moved from that area, so I was familiar with the neighborhood. The next night, it is pouring down raining as I'm driving to his house. I follow the directions that he gave me, and I pull up to a huge house where there's clearly a big party happening inside. So I call him to figure out where I went wrong with the directions, thinking I must be in the wrong place. When the phone picks up, I hear a baby babbling. Ma, 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 ba, 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 baby sounds. So I hung up because I was confused. A moment later, my date comes out of this house and he's angry. Why did you hang up on the baby? <laughs> I tried to explain that I hung up because I was confused, but then I started asking, whose baby was that? Is that your baby? You never told me you had a baby. I'm starting to think about his secret life, wife, kids, whatever he kept from me. At this point, he reveals it's not his baby. Uh, yeah, I'm crashing at my friend's house and it's his kid. I just thought, since you're a teacher, you would like talking to the baby. <laughs> For the record, no, I don't wanna talk to some random stranger's baby on the phone. He calms down and he gets in the car. I ask about these plants that he's made and where we're going. Let's go to Olive Garden in Germantown. And he proceeds to give directions. I remind him, well, I just moved from this area. I know that place. It's actually a Ruby Tuesday. I don't really care for that restaurant. Can we go someplace else? He insists that it's an Olive Garden, and he only wants to go there. So I drive us in the pouring rain to Olive Garden while passing countless delicious restaurants along the way. <laughs> when we pull up to the Ruby Tuesday, <laughs> I give myself credit for not saying told you so. Uh, well, since we're already here, we might as well just stay to eat. So this particular location at the time was really run down. Uh, not very popular, and there were maybe 10 other people in the restaurant, so we were all seated in the same section. I decided to make the best of the evening and get to know my date better, and he was more than happy to talk about himself. <laughs> he started to tell me about how he was getting his life together. Uh, I'm working on being a Christian rapper. Okay, so. I responded, okay, that sounds interesting. Um, he did also note that that's where all of his money went uh, towards studio time. So, um, you know, I let him know I thought this was all interesting and I suppose he took that as encouragement or a request because he then stood to perform a song there in the middle of the restaurant. 
My church drops deep as does my God. I always pray to cover over my squad. I'm rapping about the word and I'm about to move your world. All right, so <laughs> don't get me wrong. There are plenty of great religious hip hop artists in the world. Clearly I'm not one of them and neither was he. <laughs> Since we were all seated in the same section, everyone in the restaurant could hear. When his performance ended, there was just silence. <laughs> so no one clapped, no one said a word, including me. Uh, there may be some people here who would have loved that personal concert. I did not, and when you have nothing nice to say, you say nothing at all. To his credit, I don't think my date noticed the silence um, as he continued to talk about his dreams of becoming a star as well as other business ventures. I'm working on opening my own financial consulting business. Do you have any qualifications for that? Yeah, I'm just good with money. Okay, so eventually our dinner ended and as I was driving him home, he said, I've got a great idea. We should go on vacation together. <laughs> I mumbled something about not being interested in travel and just drove a little faster. As I dropped him off, I explained that we were just not a good fit for one another. Despite his request that we at least stay friends, I told him it just wasn't gonna work out. Unfortunately, he felt otherwise and continued to call from various phone numbers for five more years. <laughs> Despite this setback and the fact that this date was a big no, I continued to pursue my summer of yes.